Persephone by Susan Gunter. They say Persephone was just hungry. Besides, she was of an age when girls don't listen to mothers. Since spring, men had been on her radar. She'd watch them in the golden fields, sowing grains or scything stalks, sweat dripping down marbled arms that flashed with their blades. This king of Hades dude had a look about him, swaggering, close-lipped, circles of fire lighting his locks. She thought she might like being touched or touching where his loins curved into his groin. Demeter never told her about that, kept her daughter in the garden or sweeping the walk. One night, Persephone crawled in with the king. He turned to her and cut open a pomegranate, offering her half. Eat this, he said, running his hands over her breast. She lift out six seeds to swallow while he did what he wanted. It wasn't what she wanted, though. wasn't what she thought it would be. She wanted home now, her mother the small stones that gleamed on her windowsill, her cat on her lap, the tender peas from her garden. She called to Demeter from the edge of hell. Bring me back. Did you eat anything? No, well, six seeds, that's all. They say Demeter allowed Persephone six months on earth, from planting to harvest, those golden weeks of flowers, artichokes, and wine, the rest of it was hell.